born into a humble middle class family in Punjab. This is the story of Puneet Gupta, a tale of a personal heartbreak that became the catalyst for a venture that now records a staggering daily revenue of 1.8 crores. I'm your host for the week Pranav. Without much further ado, let's dive deep into today's story. Puneet embarked on a conventional career path, landing a job at Nomura in Mumbai after completing his B.Tech. Life seemed to be unfolding seamlessly as he found love. However, a significant hurdle emerged. His girlfriend, hailing from a wealthy background, had a different perspective. A pivotal moment occurred when Puneet chose to have her right billion on his bike instead of opting for a cab, leading to a furious remark about the stark differences in their lifestyles. The incident shattered the young man's heart, prompting deep introspection. Subsequently, he made the courageous decision to resign and return to his hometown to revive his grandfather's Ayurveda business. After a brief stint in Ayurveda and overcoming depression, Puneet transitioned to another corporate role at BNB Paribas. Before venturing into entrepreneurship in 2015 with the creation of an IT services company called Kodiati. In his final days at BNP, Puneet confided in a colleague about his aspirations and apprehensions. Interestingly, she possessed knowledge of astrology. Despite Puneet's previous indifference to astrology, his colleague, using his birth chart, made a bold prediction, foretelling the initiation of an IT venture that would unfortunately close down two years later due to a partner's departure. He was amused that someone as educated as his colleague suggested astrology. But undeterred, he decided to forge ahead. He managed to serve over 15 clients and booked a revenue of $500,000 within the first year. Despite this early triumph, a transition from a service-oriented model to tech products posed challenges, culminating in the closure of Kodiati in 2017 following the departure of his co-founder. The accurate turn of events reminded him of his former colleague who had predicted his short-lived success accurately. He called her up no longer as a skeptic. And this time, he had a Eureka moment. Astrology was not just a means to the answer anymore, but the answer itself. And that's how AstroTalk was born. Today's episode is based on our fortnightly newsletter. For a complete read and upcoming insightful stories, be sure to join our community. Link in the description. We need to delve deeper into the fragmented astrology market and discovered that the opportunity was far more extensive than he had initially envisioned. He understood three key problem statements in the market. First, there were many fake astrologers. Second, offline players did not have the tech expertise to scale up. Finally, the Indian consumer was moving online with mobile phones and internet penetration. A minimum viable product was launched as a video call platform for astrological consultations, adapted to user preferences by introducing audio calls for greater privacy and user engagement just took off. The platform's success was fueled by a rigorous four-level betting process for astrologers, a user-friendly payment system, and a freemium model offering a five-minute free consultation. The smartphone adoption, the geo-revolution, and the fast adoption of UPI stoked their growth. By 2019, AstroTalk had scaled from one to 125 astrologers, one million downloads, and achieved 25% month-on-month growth without external funding and a team size of 20. The onset of COVID-19 pandemic was challenges, but AstroTalk quickly adapted, experiencing a surge in demand driven by users treating astrology as a form of therapy to ease anxiety. New features such as free birth charts and live sessions were introduced to address evolving needs. In 2021, despite its scale and revenue of 10 crore each month, they managed to raise only 6 crores. Very few investors had faith in astrology to become a rocket ship. An insight for founders here, their freemium model made it easier to upsell low-paying customers to premium options than to convince free users to start paying. The platform has strategically invested in celebrity endorsements, partnering with the likes of Virendra Sehwag, Ranveer Kapoor and Pipasha Basu among the 40 celebrities. Their secret sauce lies in the meticulous vetting process for the Astrology Network, posting an acceptance rate of just 5%. Currently, they have a roster of over 15,000 astrologers listed on their platform. On the user side, they have garnered nearly 30 million registered users with 5 million using the app every month. Fresh users typically spend about 
200 to 500 rupees per month, while repeat customers contribute nearly three times that amount. One intriguing revelation emerged from the customer demographics. While the older generation openly embraces astrology, the majority of the platform's customer belong to the 18 to 35 age group, hailing from metros, tier one cities, and abroad. A pivotal strategic move was the focus on user experience. The product is crafted to resemble a WhatsApp chat, ensuring a seamless transition for users with no need for habit change. The Indian market for spirituality, religion, and devotion is estimated to be worth 58 billion, with an anticipated 10% compound annual growth rate throughout the next decade. Astrotox boasts a robust top-line growth of over 100% over the last three years, achieving a profitable 282 crores revenue for FY23 and a forecasted revenue of 600 crore for FY24. The platform's dominance in the Astrotech space, capturing an 80% market share, has attracted significant attention, leading to a proposed 40 million funding at a valuation of 220 million dollars. However, a notable challenge for the business is the eight-month recovery period for customer acquisition costs. The company's strategic roadmap involves expanding its footprint in South India, tapping into the NRI market, and venturing into diverse areas such as mental wellness, tarot cards, and psychic readings to align with the global interests. Astrotalk stands as a testament to the untapped potential within the Indian spirituality market and the transformative influence of technology in unconventional industries. Astrotalk proves the best way to predict the future is to create it. And that's it from me. Hope you learned something valuable today. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more startup-related value content. And until next time.